Johnny. I saw you with him earlier. And you were all over him. What do you want me to do? You steal my husband? Yeah, but not for long. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Because we're gonna get rid of him. Show you how good we are. You want a job, Mr. George? Yes, sir. I saw you help one of that for a mechanic, and I called. I talked to your guy, uh, Pete, and he said he was going to hold the position for me. When was that? Two days ago. That position's already been taken. I'll, uh, I'll hang on to your application, keep it on file, in case anything comes up. I only got $60 on me. That bastard tried to stick me for $60. It's a good thing you came along, man. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you bleeding, man. What? Yeah. Oh. In there. And you're sure you've never seen the assailant before, Mr. Good? No. But if I ever do see him again, he better run, because I'll put my foot so deep up his ass, I have to untie my shoe to get it out. What about you, sir? Mr. Uh, Jordan. 
No, I never saw him before either. It's brave of you to step in like you did. Sure was. I owe you, son. It just seemed like the thing to do at the time. All right, well, I'll put this out on the wire in case anyone spots him. Well, thank you. And, 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 and don't forget about that scar on his face, right? A long year, just like that. Yes, sir. All right, sir, these are for pain. Mr. Good, you were real lucky, but I still recommend you go to the hospital and let them take a proper look at your arm. I ain't going to no hospital for this little scratch. I got a word. Sarge! There she is. There's my Russian beauty. You're hurt. No. I'm fine, baby. I'm fine. Look, see here? Just a scratch. Just a scratch. Did they find the men who attacked you? No, no, not yet. Not yet. Sonny, 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 stay right there. Larissa, this here is Sonny Jordan. And he's the one that helped me with that son of a bitch that tried to rob me. Sonny, this is my wife, Larissa. Nice to meet you. Thank you for helping my husband, Mr. Jordan. Uh, I just happened to be there, Mrs. Good. Mr. Good? Some forms to fill out. I can do that for him. He's so ain't you? Yes, sir. So what are you up to, Sonny? <sighs> Nothing special. I've been trying to look for a job. What kind of a job? Right now, I'll take it just about anything. <laughs> I'll tell you what, why don't you ride along with Larissa and me back to our place, and we can talk about that and get you a good meal under your belt while we're at it. That's the least I could do, son. Right, Larissa? Right. Is this all you have, Mr. Jordan? This is it. Please, call me Sonny. Okay, Sonny. Truck's right there, let's go. Boy, gotta tell you, that was excellent. Thank you. Now, Sonny. Yeah. I want you to look me in the eye. Thank you. I want you to tell me, are you really as good a mechanic as you say you are? George, I can fix anything on wheels. Anything. And here I am with my mechanic quitting last week and his arm needing to heal up. It's Providence. So why don't you just stay on, help me out, and make yourself a little money, too? Really? I got a room right over the shop with a bed, running water, John shower downstairs. I even got a TV you could use. Hell, I got everything a man could want right here. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> I just don't like strangers in the house. Darling, I always. I can't work with mom like it is. You don't know anything about him, George, except that he's homeless. There were times that I had empty pockets, and so did you. I just want to give the man a chance. All right, then. Good. Now, I want you to come over here and kiss me where it hurts. He might hear us. He's not gonna hear us. <laughs> this is it. Huh. Now I warn you, tools are old, but they still do the job. Back in, they used to make them to last forever. Yeah. Not like that computer shit over here I had to buy. Used to be didn't need no computer to fix an engine. Man could tell I was wrong by the sound of it. Is this you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was ages ago. Used to work on race cars. Good times, man. Very cool, man. Very cool. Good times. So, where should I get started? Well, I got a brake job on John Deere coming in around nine. What do you got under there? Oh, 
That's just something I work on when I got nothing better to do. Ain't had the time lately. Whoa. Nice. Needs a new carburetor, but I can't find one. Well, what are you gonna do with it when you're finished? You gonna sell it? No. I'm gonna give it to Larissa for a present. Huh. 20% off, just for you, Ronnie. Here we go. Thank you, Miss Good. You know I'll be back. You have a good day. Thank you, you too. Say hi to Rose. You betcha, I will. Jordan. Yes, Mrs. Good. There is something I have to say to you. You have to stop looking at me the way you do. And how have I been looking at you? You know how. Why'd you marry that old man? Hmm? Woman who uh, looks like you. Don't talk about my husband that way. He likes you. I thought you liked him too. I do. I do. But I like you better. Should I call him and tell him how you talk to me when he's not around? How about I call him? Tell him face to face. Man to man. And you know what he'd probably do, right? He'd probably uh, send me down the road. But is that what you really want? Do you want me to be sent down the road? I thought you needed this job. I've had lots of jobs. Lots of women too, I bet. Well, just stop it. <laughs> you know what? It just occurred to me. It seems to me that in order for me to be looking at you the way you say I look at you, well, you'd have to be looking at me too, right? So I went looking for go-karts, you know, thinking, you know, that I was gonna find something like I used to make when I was a kid, you know, out of a, out of a lawnmower engine. And I wonder if kids make go-karts these days. 
it might be a good idea for us to have competitions. It might be a class. Wow. Forget the money, I stay around just for the food. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sonny, how'd you like a taste of whiskey? Yeah, sure. Hey, well, can you mind getting some glasses for the kitchen? Of course. And a little bit of ice while you're at it? Got it. And I'm, I'm gonna be in the living room. Okay. All right. Be right there. There you go. What are you grinning about? I found one. Found one what? A carburetor for the cutlass. No. Yep, and I already took the old one out so you can match it up with the new one. But listen, you gotta hurry because uh, they said someone else already called about it, so. Oh, damn right I'm gonna hurry. <laughs> Is he gonna be gone? Uh, at least three or four hours. I better get back inside. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I think you should stay. You're making me dirty. something. Come on! Destruction dirt. You know, what? It, I forget what they call them. They had them in the 50s and 60s. Where you build these cars and you wreck them. You know? Hey, come over here, darling. Come on, beauty, 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 beauty. We found one. It was way past Pearl River, but we found one. Found what? A carburetor for the cutlass. Some found it. Did he? Yeah. Tell you what. How we doing? All right, give me two seconds. Two seconds. Uh, all right, go ahead, turn her over. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, go ahead, try it again. It's 
run! Hot damn, it runs. Yeah, it still needs some adjustment. Yeah, I can hear that, but I'll tell you what, I'm gonna run her down the road a mile or two, see how she handles. George, be careful. Darling, it's only a mile or two. I'll be right back. We need to be careful. Did George say anything? No, and he won't either, unless you start acting different towards me or him. Different? Yes, getting all nice to us, as if you actually like me all of a sudden. And being extra nice to him because you're guilty, it's a dead giveaway. You sound like an expert. Is that what you are, an expert at sleeping with other man's wives? As much as an expert as you are with cheating on your husband. I'm not an expert. I've never done it before. Didn't help you cover me in grease all over with your dirty hands. Took me over an hour in the bath to wash it all off. Well, look, there it is next time. Just call me and I'll help you. There won't be next time, okay? We were curious. We got it out of our systems, and now we can move on like it never happened. Yeah, but it did happen. I mean it. Never again. Yeah, boy. She'll run great once we adjust the idle in the fuel mixture. Can't wait to get her out on a turnpike, man. Really open her up. For you, darling? For me? Well, of course it's for you. George, darling. thank you. Oh. Everything's for you. So sweet. Come on, get in. Let me see how it looks on you. Oh, darling. You look so classy, darling. Don't you? Yes, sir. Real classy. Come on. I want to see you driving. Let's go, let's go grab a McDonald's. He says, what does a woman in a tornado have in common? Mm -hmm. They both moan like hell when they come and take the house with them when they go. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. You know, I got a joke. Well, go ahead and tell it. Don't be shy. Okay. So a man's in bed with another man's wife. Uh-oh. Then all of a sudden, they hear a husband driving up. And the wife says, oh, my God, my husband's home. And the boyfriend says, where's your back door? The wife says, we don't have a back door. The boyfriend says, well, where do you want one? <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. That reminds me. I've got one. It's almost like that. When the wife and the boyfriend hear the husband come, the boyfriend says, where's your back door? But the wife screams. We ain't got time for my back door, you crazy? My husband's home. George, <laughs> I'm completely wasted. I'm going to bed. Oh, darling, come on, come on, come on. Don't be like that. Larissa! God damn it, I'm gonna pay for that. <laughs> she don't like it when I'm crude. Women just don't understand that a man's gotta have a drink and tell a dirty joke once in a while, am I right? Absolutely, you're right. Here, let me refill you. Women and men just have a different sense of humor. Don't be stingy. Pour a drink for a man, son. There you go. Son. I had a son once, you know. Alan. Oh. Alan Good. <laughs> he was a good boy, too. He'd be just about as old as you are now. This is big too, I'll bet. Mm -hmm. oh. mm.
Why'd you marry George, huh? I was scared. Alone. I barely spoke English. Work the shittiest jobs you can imagine. You have no idea. No, no, no. I get it. Believe me. But where did George come into this? I worked as a maid at this motel and he came in. He was lonely after his wife had loved him. And um, he liked my accent. What? You have an accent? Hmm. What? <laughs> When he brought me here, this place seemed like a like a sanctuary. Hmm. No, it feels like a cage. Hmm. What about you? Where are you from? Oh, you really want to know? Of course I do. <laughs> Originally, I'm from St. Louis. I grew up in foster care and reform schools. A ward of the state. That's what they called it. You wouldn't believe the things that go on in those places. Believe me, I'd die before I let a kid of mine end up in one. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I guess we both just have really shitty stories, huh? Yeah, we do. You ever think of leaving? George? And go where? I don't know, anywhere, you know, just to be on your own. I tried it already and it wasn't pretty, not when you're broke. But what if you had money? Would you, would you leave then? With you? With anybody. You know what, I should really get out of here now. <laughs> if I had money, I'd do it. With you. Sonny, we're going for a ride. Where to? So, uh, George, uh, where are we going? You'll see. So what's going on, Sonny? What do you mean? With you. Be straight with me. George, you know, it just... Sonny, I need to know what your plans are. I need to know if you're staying on or moving on. I just need to know. Why? Come here. I want you to take a look around. Tell me what you think. About what? The location. The location? Uh, it's a dump. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right now, it's a dump. On the map, this is just a country road in the woods with not much else. But in six months, they're going to build an alternate route right through there. Now, it's just a mile long, Sonny. But that's a million dollar mile because all of a sudden this road is going to be an access route to the interstate. When that happens, this dump is going to be a gold mine for the man with the vision to jump on it. Okay. And what's the vision? I'm going to build what I have always dreamed of a motorsports park. A motor sports park. Yeah. I'm gonna put in a race car track for sports cars and motorbikes right over there. A go-kart track for kids. An auto cross path over there. Food court with shops over there. Hell, I might even put in a casino one day. Okay, so you're thinking about buying a lot. Sonny, I already bought it. I already got the loan to build. I've got it all worked out down to the dollar. I can see it like it's like it's already there. So what about you, Sonny? Can you see it? I can see it. 
I can see it real clear. <laughs> well, why didn't he tell me? He just wanted everything to be set up first. So, race truck over there, and the carting truck for the kids to the left. Mm hmm And a food court, and a filling station. And he's also going to have a uh, mechanic shop that he says I'll be running. Maybe even a casino one day. This changes everything, Sonny. Yeah. This could be all we ever wanted. Yeah. What do you mean, we? I mean, you and me, of course. Are you serious? Yeah. What? This is George's plan. I mean, how are we supposed to get him out of it? Exactly. How do we get George out of it? Larissa. <laughs> they give you the needle for what you're thinking about in this state. So what you're talking about is crazy. You're the one talking. I haven't said a word. Well, you don't have to. Because I can read your mind. And what do you see in my mind, Sonny? I see someone who doesn't want to just take a man's life. You want to take his dream, too. This is my dream. I've been pushing and shoving this man for ages to do more with his life. With our life. Yeah, well, it looks like he is. Too late. This was before you came along. Me. I can't believe it. Show me, show me I again. I'll uh, show you again. Well, obviously, this is the go kart racetrack for kids. Here on the second floor is a food court and also shops. Um, there should be a, a toy store with cars and trucks that kids are crazy about. Now, you see there? I would have never have thought of that. That's why we make such a good team. When do you think it's going to be done and open? Oh, I. About six, eight months for basics. That'll give us cash flow. Rest we'll do over time. Got a name for it. The Good Family Motorsports Park. I love that. I love it. You think it's a clutch or what? Sonny, you think it's a clutch? You know, felt like it's a clutch to me. What? It seemed like it's a clutch to me. I just keep jumping, man. Now, when I put it in first, you know, it's okay. But when I start trying to put it in second and third, start doing like this little jumping thing. Yeah, man, I tell you what, I just put 25 on my Think about selling it. Put an alternator in here, had to put a generator. Air conditioning alone cost me almost a grand. Mm. I saw you with him earlier, and you were all over him. What do you want me to do? He's still my husband. Yeah, but not for long. What do you mean? You know what I mean. We're not good people, are we? I'll show you how good we are. We just wanted to let you know how much we hope that your sister feels better. She'll be okay. She'll just be a couple of days. Well, we'll be holding down the fort till you get back. Hey, once again, thanks for the car. You bet. I promise. I'll take real good care. Well, you better. 
<laughs> See you soon. What if we made it look like a robbery? Oh, no, no. That's how we met in the first place, remember? And how would that look? He almost gets killed in a robbery, then six months later he gets killed in another one, and I'm there for both of them? Come on. Then what, Sonny? I'm not good at this. Well, I've never done it before either. But whatever we do, we have to do it sooner than later, okay? It's a miracle he hasn't caught on to us yet. Well, he's been so distracted by the motor park. about an accident maybe huh we could uh we could rig something to make it look like it just happened like you and i we had nothing to do with it George that I need his help and as soon as he's in the position that that melon's in then you ready watch see this lift is ancient and I wore the safety cog down just enough to make it look like it could have slipped at any time but if you're gonna be down there with George then who is gonna pull the lever No. No, I can't do that. Listen, 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 do listen, listen. It has to be this way. Okay? I have to be down there with George to get him into position. And I can't pull the lever from down there. Maybe, maybe you can use a rope. And you could just tie that rope Wait to the Wait a minute, lever. a rope? Yeah. George is going to be able to see that. He's not blind. Now listen to me. Do you want to do this or not? Get on the computer, start looking around and seeing, you know, and see if there's any kind of people make any kind of money. You know, maybe start a like a Grand Prix car or something. Huh. An expensive, way too expensive. We'll see what we can do. Find something cheap. You know, well, I guess we could work and find somebody who knows how to do it. We just need to, you know, do some research. God, I love these beans. We're almost there, darling. <laughs> Look, we're almost I there.
damn it. What? Uh, What's wrong? These old tractors, man. That bolt, that bolt is locked in. I, I can't get it loose. Uh, here, wait. Let me, let me take a look. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, this damn thing's rusted tight. All right. There it is. God. God. Damn, the thing is cut on the cat's ass. Oh. Go again? Let's do it. You ready? I'm ready. All right. One, two, three. Stick to the plan. But your hands. You were never here. You were in town when this happened. Go, just leave. Leave now before someone pulls it off the road. You're gonna have to keep it together, okay? What's done is done. He ain't coming back. Oh, baby, I love you. Remember, that's why we did this, right? And you love me too, right? Huh? I love you. You know I do. Now go, go. Larissa, get rid of those shoes. Get rid of them. Go. Detective Crawford, man. Detective, what's going on? It seems there's been a very serious accident. An accident? Where is my husband? Well, I'm very sorry, but your husband's been killed. Killed? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Uh, how? Well, it looks like Mr. Good was working under the suspended tractor along with your mechanic. Sony. Was he hurt too? His hand was injured pretty badly. That was him in the ambulance you just saw. Oh my god! Oh my God. George. George. How is this possible? I knew your husband, ma'am. High school, he was a good guy. He was a good guy.
Thanks a lot, officer. I really appreciate it. Have a good night. How is your hand? It's fine, it's fine. Listen, no more tax thing, okay? I was just worried about you. I know, I know. What did you do with the shoes? What's eating at you? It's a George good thing. The accident? Older husband, pretty young wife, new business starting up that could be worth millions in time. So? So add in a handsome young mechanic who happens to be on the scene at the time of the husband's death. All right. Is it that he's young, that he's handsome, or that he was on the scene that bothers you? All three. Maybe nothing. You met the wife? Yep. And? Russian, pretty, stylish. Not the kind of woman you would expect to marry a tractor mechanic. The thing about the wife, clothes. Clothes. You're thinking back on when Mrs. Good came home, she's wearing this flowery dress, hair windblown, driving in a, a convertible. Like I said, like a picture out of a magazine, all except the shoes. Her shoes? Yeah. She's wearing these dirty tennis shoes like you would wear to mow the lawn or something. So? So who do you know that goes grocery shopping looking like Grace Kelly, wearing some, some nasty, ratty-looking, raggedy tennis shoes? Who's Grace Kelly? All right, maybe her feet were sore. I don't know, maybe her Mary Janes were nipping on her bunions. Maybe she has foot problems. Or maybe she had to ditch the shoes that she was wearing in a hurry because she got blood on them. Come on. If you're standing right next to the release lever of the lift that drops the tractor on your husband's head, crushing his skull, you're definitely going to get blood on your shoes because of the splatter. And in a hurry, she grabs her old sneakers. Exactly. And that's why we need to canvas that road from the shop all the way to town. That's like 15 miles. OK. We'll canvas. Tomorrow morning. Copy that. Are you sure you threw them on this side of the road? I told you, I threw one to the right, the other one to the left down the road. Yeah, well, we have to find them. But I wiped them off. Don't you watch television? Wiping them off isn't good enough. Anybody can spot them out here. Anybody but us. What did the police say to you when they talked to you? Nothing. A detective just told me about the accident. What about you? Uh, they asked me some questions in the emergency room. Detective? No, just the patrolman. You know, how did it happen? Where was I when the tractor fell? Where was George? Stuff like that. What did you tell them? I told them what we worked out, I would tell them. Sonny. What? We shouldn't have done it. Listen to me. Listen to me. Don't you ever say that again. Ever. It's done. You wanted it just as bad as I did. Even more. It was you who wanted to get rid of him, remember? Sorry, stop. Don't start that crying shit either. I'm not getting a needle because you can't keep it together. You hear what I'm saying? Sonny? I said, do you hear me? I see it. Thank God. You must have stepped over that thing a dozen times. See, look, baby, this is what I'm talking about. We just have to keep it together. No, all we have to do is find the other shoe. be more careful from now on. I know. If anyone were to suspect that we're together, it would be bad. You should stay apart then. All business from now on. At least until we know we're in the clear. In that case, good night, Mr. Jordan. Good night, Mrs. Good.
Can I help you? Place looks ship shape. Must be tough working one hand, eh? Yeah. But hey, I'm sorry, man. I'm not doing any mechanical stuff today. I'm just working here, cleaning up. But you can come back in a couple of days. Sonny Jordan, right? Yeah, that's right. And you are? Oh, we didn't get a chance to talk the other night. Detective Crawford. Sorry about the accident. That, that must have hurt like a son of a bitch. <laughs> Tell you the truth, it still does. You know, they gave me some uh, pills for the pain, but you know, the pills only do but so much. Wow, that lift is pretty old, huh? Yeah, everything is old in this place. You know, George wasn't one to buy new tools if the old one still did the job. Besides, he was saving up for this uh, motor park that he was building. Yeah, I've been by there. That, that, that place looks like a real winner once they get that alternate route in. Huh. You involved in that? Well, he was going to have me run the mechanic side once he got it up and running, but uh, now I don't know, you know? I think his wife is still in shock, so she hasn't had time to think it through yet. Where are you from, Mr. Jordan? From a lot of places. Name a few. <laughs> uh, St. Louis, Kansas City, New York, Albuquerque. I even uh, spent some time in Los Angeles. Traveling, man. <laughs> yeah, right, used to be. Yeah, but not anymore, huh? Look, I had settled down in my original hometown, but I lost everything in the floods last year. I was down to my last dollar when George hired me. It made me feel real welcome. Oh, well, Mrs. Good, she make you feel welcome, too. <laughs> yeah, she was all right. Look, I know how things can look to folks. How's that? Come on, man. You know how it is. You got this pretty young wife who marries a much older man. Yeah, but the husband's gone now. See, that's what I'm talking about. But I'm telling you, it wasn't like that. Because she is a pretty woman, though. Yeah, she's a pretty woman. There's a lot of pretty women in the world, but not a lot of good jobs. Yeah, but this pretty woman might be coming into a whole lot of money soon. She and her husband get along okay. Yeah, they got along great. Why? She was at the grocery store shopping when this happened, right? Why are you asking me all of this, huh? Well, look at it. It's worn out. It's slipped. That's the end of the story. I just don't feel like I'm earning my money if I don't ask a few questions, right? I mean, the man got killed. Come on. If I need you to come down to talk some more, that wouldn't be a problem, would it? Look, I, I really wouldn't feel comfortable leaving Mrs. Good here alone so soon after her husband passed. Yeah, but if I need you, you'd come down, right? Right? Look, if you need me, yes, I will come down. Great. Take care of that hand. What did he want? You were watching. Not just at the end. If he had seen you, it would have looked suspicious. What was he after? He was just fishing. It's what cops do. They throw in the hook to see if they get a nipple. What did he ask you? If I like George. If I was staying on now that George was gone, what you're like. Me? Why would he ask that? I told you, he's just fishing. I couldn't sleep last night. I kept going over everything, trying to figure out whether we missed anything. It was only the shoes. That's it. We think the shoes were the only thing, but it's always the things you don't think of.
Here, here, let me help you. You should be in the shop, Mr. Jordan. Lisa Good. This is good. I was really uh, sorry to hear about your husband. Um, he was a really nice guy. Everybody over here liked him. Thank you. I'm calling to tell you that I'm gonna keep my husband's plans. And I also like to make a few changes to the design. Oh, it's gonna be great. Detective Crawford? How can I help you? I've been trying to reach Mr. Jordan, but he's not picking up in the shop. H have you tried his cell phone? It's no luck there either. He might have stepped out. I can have him call you as soon as I see him. No, no, nothing urgent, but it is important. Of course. All right, thank you. Good night now. Good night. Detective Crawford wants to see you. What for? He didn't say. You have to call him back. Use the phone in the shop. Mr. Jordan, you busy tomorrow morning? I'd like you to come in if you can. Tomorrow? At 10 o'clock, okay? Uh, what for? Some things I want to go over. It won't take long. Well, you couldn't ask me what you want to ask me over the phone? Yeah, it'd be better if you came in. Okay, 10 o'clock it is. Great. Uh, can Mrs. Good bring you over, or I could send a patrol car for you to bring you in if you like? Yeah, no, no need for a patrol car. Yeah, I'll ask Mrs. Good. I'm sure she can make that happen. Great, great. See you then. You heard? Why did they ask to see you? I don't know. They must have found something. I have no idea. They might be watching us. They might have us bugged. What if they have us bugged? If they had us bugged, we'd be in jail already. Besides, they need to get a warrant for that. Well, because the police always follow the rules.
Come on, we don't have much time. You should have sealed it up after the accident. Didn't know it was a crime scene then. Well, you didn't know it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to wait for you? No. I'll call you when I need to be picked up. If I need to be picked up. If they let me go. Don't say that. I'll talk to you later. What's this all about? You told me 10 a.m. I've been waiting over an hour now. It couldn't be helped. But this won't take long. Just a couple speed bumps I need to get over. Speed bumps? Yeah, speed bumps. You know, make you slow down, give you a chance to look at things a little more closely. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like what things? It's a few things. That's all. A few things. But I already told you everything, I, you know, that happened. I don't know if you told me everything. Let's have a seat. thing over with okay i mean what do you guys want from me huh i come down here in good faith to cooperate and Listen, now you want to brought you down because i, I want to run an idea by you an idea yeah i want to come to you straight i don't buy that george good's death was an accident why i already told you i was right there the tractor fell on him shit it, it fell on both of us i mean look at my goddamn hand man i almost lost it you think i would do something like this to myself I've seen worse. You remember the guy that shot his wife dead and shot himself in the hip talking about the burglar did it? <laughs> that was Danny Oakley. Guys in prison call him Annie Oakley now. You can guess why. Good luck with that. Sonny, I waited till now to call you down here because I was waiting for the medical examiner's report. Yeah. Uh, they're always backed up. They say it's funding. <laughs> it's always about the money, right? Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to know from me? The medical examiner found some very interesting things about the wounds on Mr. Good's body. You see this photo right here? On Mr. Good's collarbone? Mm-hmm. Very unusual pattern. Right here. Temple. Identical same wound, and this is the one that killed him. There's a tractor's differential. That part right there on the tractor is the only part whose shape matches, identically matches, both of those wounds. So? So the tractor fell on him twice. Look, <laughs> I don't know anything about that, all right? Everything happened so fast. And remember, I was hurt, okay? Look, maybe, I, uh, maybe the thing bounced around a couple of times. I was thinking the same thing. Maybe the tractor fell, hit the floor so hard, it bounced, and it hit them again twice. So, yeah. That's fair. There you go. Only the medical examiner says that that's not possible because of the depth of the wounds and is willing to testify in court to that. Well, maybe the medical examiner got it wrong this time. The marks don't lie. Sonny, you know, a pretty woman like that can get a man to do a lot of things. Lie. Cheat, steal. Maybe kill. Yeah. <laughs> a woman can get a man to do a lot of things. You know what? I'm done talking. I'm done answering your questions, and I want a lawyer. Hold on, you don't need a lawyer. We won't ask any more questions, cool? Yeah. But wait a few minutes, and then you can go. Give us a few minutes. Mm, just a couple minutes. A couple minutes ain't gonna kill you. There's something for you to watch while you're waiting. A few minutes. I'll give you two minutes. All right, that's cool. And fast forward to the good parts. And you only got two minutes. Just fast forward. Get the film ready for you. Oh, this is a good film. Look at this. It's really good. Mr. Good was here, and the lever releasing the lift is all the way over there. 
No way he could pull the lever from here. But if nobody else was here to do it, how did it drop? Exactly. Unless this was really just an accident. Jordan's a mechanic. He could have rigged the locking mechanism. Okay, but how did he pull the lever from all the way over here? Or go-go gadget arms? What are you doing? What if... Watch. Presto. All right. Fine. Cool, huh? That's bullshit. No, it's either one of two things. Either you did it, or you and Mrs. Good did it together. And when I find out which one it is, I'm coming to get you. You can go for now. You know, it just occurred to me. Didn't you need a warrant to do that? Like this? We knocked. Twice. Yeah. Threw everything we had at him. He didn't break. Yeah, he didn't break, but maybe she will. You really think she's in on it? Can't wait to get the Matahari in that chair and turn the heat up on her. Damn. You ready? I'm ready. All right. One. Two. Three. <laughs> Pull the chain! Pull the chain! Pull it! Okay. okay. That's it. That's it. I'll get you out. I can't hold it much longer. What are you doing, Sonny? What are you Let doing? Let go! gonna be fine. I'm gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. That's what he said. It's either you or it's both of us. Yeah, but they don't have anything. Nothing real, at least. They, they, they just got this video. What video? There's this video that shows how I could have dropped the tractor on George by myself by tying a rope to the lift lever. Could that work for him? No. It's just speculation. It wouldn't hold up in court. Court? I can't go to court. Listen to me. Listen to me. The more he talked, the more I realized he had nothing. Okay? Nothing. It's just a theory. But he knew the tractor was dropped twice. He thinks he knows a lot of things. You think I would be sitting here right now? If they had anything on me, you think they would let me leave? No. He was just fucking with me to see how I'd react. He didn't freak out with them like you did with me in the car, did you? No, I did not. Oh, God. Sonny, are you gonna turn on me? What? Are you gonna turn on me? Of course not. Even if they offer you a lighter sentence? Why would you ask me something like that? Because if you are... I'm not! Okay? I'm not. Why? Are you gonna turn on me? No, never. Yeah. Because sometimes, when people think the other person is gonna screw them over, it's because they thought of doing it first. Son, when you're scared, you... Come here. It's gonna be all right.
Police. What should I say? Yes, Detective Crawford? Yes, uh, can you drop by the police station tomorrow morning? Is this really necessary? I'm afraid so, ma'am. It's about your husband's death. Okay, until tomorrow then. See you then. He's just... He's just gonna try and rattle you, that's all. I can't go down there and face them. I, I, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid I won't be able to keep it up. I'm afraid I'm going to say the wrong thing. It's just a game. That's how you got to look at it, as a game. I can't go to jail. No, I, no, 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 I know that. Nobody's going to jail. We're going to figure this whole thing out. Sonny, I can't go to jail. I know. We're there's, gonna... there's something I have to say to you. I'm pregnant. Yeah. I did the test twice. Baby. And it's mine. The detective is so smart. He won't quit on us, would he? It was my idea. All of it. You see, I had a thing for Larissa from the moment that George brought me on. And one day, I made a move, and she put me in my place right away. She told me that she loved her husband, and if I ever tried anything like that again, that she would let him know and have me fired. But I couldn't get out of my mind. So I started thinking that only if he was gone, if he... If he was dead, then maybe I'd have a shot. I set it up, and as soon as she went into town, I had George help me under the tractor. And just like you figured, I tied a rope around the lever and I pulled it. And I thought if I got my hand hurt, then he would never think it wasn't an accident. But it was all me. Mrs. Good had absolutely Nothing to do with it. Sonny? Well, I gotta hand it to you. You had it figured all along. <laughs> you got your guy. Yeah. I wonder. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Larissa, by the time you read this, I've already done what I had to do. I've confessed to killing George. You were right. The police aren't going to let George's death go. 
They're going to be on us every minute. And the last thing I want is for them to find out that you are involved, especially now with a baby coming. I told you once that I would die before I saw a child of mine end up in the care of the state like I was. And if the police think that you're involved, that's exactly what will happen. It wouldn't be good if both our baby's parents were in jail. I know what I had to do the moment you told me you were pregnant. You must sell the farm now and move away where no one knows you. You don't want people to start talking when they see our son. And don't try to contact me. Someday, when I'm finally settled wherever they send me, we'll find a safe way for you to let me know how you and our baby are doing. I just need you to know that when I told you I loved you, Larissa, I meant it. Take care of yourself and take care of our baby. And P.S., if it's a boy, I'd like you to name him Brandon in honor of my grandfather. If it's a girl, well, you pick the name. My dearest Sonny, I think about you all the time. Our little boy is growing so fast. You'd hardly recognize him. He's very happy and bright, and just like his father, very good with his hands, putting together his toys and puzzles. You would be very proud of him. Love, always. Sweetheart, your last letter lifted my spirits to the sky. I'm glad things are going so good for you and little Brandon. I'm glad to hear our baby boy is doing so well. It seems so long since you sent me a picture of him. Every time you do, he seems to grow and change so much. Sometimes he looks like me, and sometimes he looks like you. I'd like to see at least one more picture of our son before my time runs out. All my heart, Sonny. Did you bring in those family photos for the hour employee walk? Ah, uh, yes, Mrs. Good. Thank you. Oh, what a handsome little boy. He's my heart, my little Troy. How old is he again? Ah, uh, he's five. So big for his age. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dinah. Of course. Another letter? He doesn't quit, does he? Well, if he does, he might start thinking, and we don't want him thinking, do we? Could you please go and make sure the Lamborghini gets ready for the next client? Son of a bitch! Come on! Last time, they screwed up and cost me two grand. Okay. Later, boss. Sonny, 
You can't know how much I wish you were right here with us now. Because of your strength and your sacrifice, our son is growing strong and healthy. And one day I will tell him all the good things about his daddy. He will be starting school soon, and he's just the smartest little boy you ever saw. All my love. <laughs>